Well, good afternoon, Sagittarius. There's an interesting energy here for uh, what you need to know. Um, so I don't know who this message is for. And, you know, you know that tarot is not really specific, even though some people make, make it seem so. It's really not. It's nuanced. That's why it's different for everyone. So. But I feel, I feel like generally this is about you and other people. Um, yeah. I really do, Sag, because, um, um, you are overcoming a problem for the long term. I want you to know that. Like, uh, it probably doesn't seem like it, uh, right now to you, but you will be, overcoming this issue and it definitely has to do with you and other people you know it's it's kind of like um everyone being happier everyone getting what they want right it's that happily ever after energy because you know there there's there's everybody else Saj and then there's you because um I don't want to call you a lone wolf but we all have things that we're supposed to do by ourselves, right? So if you feel like you resonate with this, please like and subscribe. Um, if you're looking for personals, that's in the description box. But we're seeing key point here, grasp the key to the problem, relaxing and balanced and complete state. I mean, I, I do feel like this has to do with everyone. You want everyone to be happy. Um, and... and to some level, you may be trying to make everybody happy. And there seem to be problems, it kind of feels, with people getting along. But with the star and the ten of cups being here, you know, just in case, like, you are having some issues with, with the people around you, your family, your friends, whatever it is, you know, it's going to come around. The ten of cups is that energy of, Things, all things working out and coming into a happy place. We're all getting along. We're all together. You know, we're, we're enjoying life. Um, and, and, and there's also that Sagittarius. You know, we're in this energy right now. And I was just writing about it in the comments where this is Pisces season. <laughs> This is about unpacking the soul and it's not over y'all because we're going to have, we're going to have an eclipse and we're kind of building up to an eclipse. And so we kind of like, maybe it seems like we're always in releasing energy, but you know, because our new year doesn't actually start until airy season. That's when we start to see some real movement and you know, maybe it is about you know, releasing and, and clearing things out of the way because you are figuring out, you know, first of all, the key to the problems or if you're having problems with the people around you is just not focusing on it. Just, you know, relax. Things will balance out. And that is what it's telling you. Like, with the star, I mean, your wishes will f be fulfilled. Everyone will be happy. You will be happy. Everyone will be happy. And it's just like, as far as that goes, it's just about letting it happen. You know, just, there's a lot here about keeping faith alive. And I feel like for some of you, this may have something to do with the things you're wanting to do. Yes, I said what I said. So on the bottom, you know, the Knight of Pentacles is here. The Eight of Swords is here and the world. You don't even see that you have a win coming. You have a win coming, but it hasn't been coming. And that's the problem, right? And maybe that's where the problem is coming in with other people. Because I kind of feel like uh, that's the challenge we say. Okay, challenge. Be brave enough to accept all challenges. Where there is light, there is hope, and the in set off the inception of everything. And this is about something beginning. 
This is about something turning around for you, Sagittarius, which it actually is. But don't necessarily expect other people to see it. That's what needs to change here. Like the Three of Pentacles energy. It's like you're you're doing something, okay? You have this idea. You're trying to do something. You're trying to achieve something. But other people don't see the merit of it. Right? And maybe that had affected you in the past. But it needs to stop affecting you. Especially if it makes you feel like um, down. You know what I mean? Like, uh, if, if you start to take what other people think and other people support too much to heart that it affects the movements that you make. Because the truth is, is this is where, this is part of the problem. And with the Three of Pentacles you're, and the Death card, you're going to stop expecting people to be on board. Right? Even if that means... That they have to go. If that's what that means. That's what that means. But you know. You're not expecting people to work with you anymore. Because magician. You don't need them. That's what it's saying. Like maybe you thought you needed support in this area. Or for other people. To, to do this with you. In order for it to succeed. Cooperation. No you don't. Sad, you can do this yourself. And what I really feel with the magician being here is that you're supposed to. You're supposed to do this yourself. Right? Um, this is a, like a whole transformation. And right now with Broom being here, which is the death card, this is about, you know, there could be things coming up kind of saying to you where you don't feel supported, you don't feel like people are, you're having trouble working with people and they don't really get what you're doing. And, you know, that's because that's not what they're supposed to do. Because this is something you are doing. This is something you are doing. You are creating this. And you may think that you need help in order to achieve this. You do not. You do not, Sagittarius. You're doing this. And yeah, is it a lot to take all of this on yourself? Sure it is. Sure it is, right? So, you know, passion is here for the future. Maintain your enthusiasm for things. Um, action, just do it if you think of it. And fulcrum, pay attention to key points and key people and things. Look... You've got to be around people who make you feel inspired. Not people who constantly, you know, I don't know. It, it's like the Three of Pentacles is usually a good card. Like it's usually, and I feel like that may be the problem where it's like people who used to support the things that you do all of a sudden with whatever it is you're trying to achieve now, they're not supporting it. And, and and maybe that, you know, means you're supposed to have different people. You know, with the um, Wheel of Fortune, the Sun, and the Ten of Wands. This is a great idea, Sagittarius. Whatever this is you're doing, you are supposed to do it. You are supposed to do it. It bears nothing but fruit. But yeah, is it a lot of work? It is. It's a lot of work, Sag. It's heavy. Ten of Wands. It's heavy because you're doing a majority of the work. It's probably also heavy because it's hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel. But the light is there. And it's not going to be there all the time. That's the thing, you know. And, you know, the Ten of Wands is a completion. It's leading to things not being so hard. And I feel, I, I, you know, it's really interesting because I feel like this is, it may be that this really makes you feel isolated. Um, but Spirit is saying, even then, stay committed. Like Four of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Swords is a very independent energy. 
Um, but, you know, even in independence, it can be very lonely, you know, um, but this is, this is like, this is a life lesson for you about sticking with things, you know, and this is creating a new period in your life. Six of Swords, Nine of Swords, Ace of Swords. This is creating so much opportunity in your life, but it's also hard. It's also lonely. It also requires a level of commitment from you. That is crazy. And everyone might not see it, Dodge. Everyone might not see it because it's not for them. That's the whole point, right? So Knight of Cups, Six of Cups, Eight of Wands, and Queen of Cups. You know what this is really about? This is about doing something for yourself, especially it could be your whole life, right? And you used to do it like the Knight of Cups is very romantic, very much wants to do things for others, right? But there were times in the past where you compromised yourself for others and now it's time to move into what you want. To what is good for you as the Queen of Cups. What is good for your heart. Your heart matters too, Sag. Wow, this is a big, big messages all day, Sagittarius. What is going on? Nothing light here at all. <laughs> so let's see where this is leading you, Sagittarius. Let's do it. Where is this leading my Sagittarius friends? And I feel like whatever you're, you know, even if this isn't like one idea that you have, or I do feel like this is really um, sitting with people who are doing something different with their lives that might seem different. Let me just say that I can resonate with that. <laughs> Hardly any of my family or close friends really gets why I do what I do. With the commitment that I do it, right? <laughs> and and that's the whole point. But other people don't have to see it. They don't have to. And I feel like that might be bothering you. But just know it shouldn't. Because you are achieving what you're setting out to achieve. So where is this leading, Sagittarius? Oh, what, Sag? <laughs> the Nine of Pentacles. Everything's going to be okay. The Three of Swords. That's not easy, though. Where is this leading Sagittarius? I feel like it's winning, but there's something bittersweet in it, right? Where is this leading Sagittarius? Well, it is definitely leading towards success. And turning a corner in your life, Sagittarius. But it's not without pain. Let's just say that. It's not without pain. But what also happens here is healing. You know, and and I hate saying this because we really, it shouldn't be like this. But it's like when people start to see things happening, then all of a sudden, you know, it's like, they get it, you know, and you got to take the harmony where you can get it. King of Wands, Four of Swords, Eight of Swords, and the Magician. The truth is you always knew it would work out. You knew it would work out because you, you had a vision, but, you know, this is your vision. This wasn't everyone else's vision. And they couldn't see it. And that, you know, you had to, like, pull away and do this yourself. You know, and that's just how it is sometimes. It's how it is. And so, I feel like, for the most part, with the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Swords here, there is healing coming in. 
there's even healing coming in with the the people who just weren't agreeing with you or whatever and maybe even just letting it go because this is the energy of letting things be good M yeah making the decision to let them be good to not focus on certain things like the fact that they didn't see your vision but i think that you were supposed to achieve this by yourself you know, maybe this had to do with sometimes we need to achieve things by ourselves, not to show other people. Maybe to just show ourselves that we can. You know, what you're showing yourself is that you achieved this by yourself and you didn't need anyone's help. So that's a win, Sag. That's a win. Yeah, look at this, Sagittarius. That, it's like that's what you're seeing. That's what you're understanding. What you're understanding is that you can have what you want. You are powerful, Sagittarius. And believe it or not, even though it felt hurtful, perhaps, this really increases your power. You're the magician and the queen of wands. Literally nothing can stop you. So... It will be really important, you know, even if you're just in this journey now to always keep in mind the passion you have for what you're trying to achieve. Well, says Sagittarius, I love this. Absolutely. Especially since the world is here. The world is here. The Six of Wands was there. The Nine of Pentacles was there. There's no way that you can lose. No way. You only know how to win, Sagittarius. Toodle 